Hello and welcome to this video. Valorant as Athenians put him as goals. Golnians. What colour? Two. Red. Two. One is blue. Six ladies from each. The farmstead straight away for Valorant. Baskets straight away for Valorant. Storehouse. Farmstead. Six ladies. Guy Cerados doing stuff. No baskets quite yet. No scouting. I would have taken one of these ladies and put them over here and over here. Do some stuff. Why not? Why not? That's what I like to say. Baskets will be out fairly soon. Baskets over here also a little later. And perhaps even becoming capped soon? No. Just three ladies. Yeah, okay. Need to build a house very soon though. Valorant. Already one step ahead. Pop bonus 10. Maybe even a bit late on that uh, house, Valorant. What's going on? You were about five seconds slow. Man, more like one second. <laughs> One second slower than the theoretical absolute maximum performance that a robot would do. Valorant, Mr. Robot. There's a television program called that. And that's, that's Valorant. Valorant is Mr. Robot from Mr. Robot. And Pudding is Pudding. From a show about Pudding, probably. A theoretical pudding program. What's this horse doing? Bro, come on. Look at these horses though. What's this happening? Move. Sit a bowly on. Farmstead. Good spot for it. Just for hunt, basically. And why not? Two more prodromos. Oh, wait. What? Oh. <laughs> I thought that might have been. Put him's horses doing some attacking, but no. Total composition is there. Eight military. Ten military. Valorant two ahead in population. Nobody having spent any stone or metal yet. Barracks. Yeah, see? Storehouse. What's, what's happening here? Oops. Yeah, I was going to say, population capped. Got a house straight away. Apple trees everywhere. Many apple trees. Oh, and now it's happening. Here it is. Valorant has the horses. Big rush. Big rush happening. Equal population, so it'll be interesting to see what happens. Is there any bonus? No. But more horses. <laughs> Ten versus four. And ranged. Both ranged. Okay, uh. Wow. This is. This is Pudim's entire workforce. Right here. There's nothing else anywhere else. So all Valorant has to do is raid this area. Do some juking. Not even um, juking, it's more uh, 
just staying on the edge of range. Only two more military units to go. And then 21 ladies. Boosh, boom, 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 boom. Let's go for ladies, bro. Psychological damage. You see that population drop instantly. Yeah, good split. Um, no. <laughs> good game, well played. Um, <laughs> this, um, centralization. Not good. You need a de decentralized workforce. That's what you need. You know, like open source. You play the game like open source does. Your workforce is decentralized, not all in one spot. It's all over the world. Put some over this part of the world, this part of the world over here. Anyway. <laughs> Alright. That was that one. Valorant versus Podium. Very short. I think the shortest game of the tournament? Quite possibly. Nothing there. Hmm. 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 starts up here somehow. <laughs> Well, it happened so fast that it happened in between, like, um, ticks of the logging engine or whatever. <laughs> ah, dear. Valorant, Mr. Robot. Winning the game. Go check out Valorant if you want to learn how to play like that. He's got his own, uh, YouTube channel. One of the only players in the tournament with a YouTube channel, as far as I know. Um, someone could correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, Valorant, go check him out and learn how to do that kind of stuff. All right, I hope you have a good day. <laughs>